Hey guys, it's Michael Todd and welcome to the, oh my God, I do that every Hey guys, it's Michael Todd and welcome to the Cult of Vintage. Hey, we are at Time Matters Antique Mall in Adamstown, Pennsylvania. I've never been here. We're gonna get inside, see if we can't find anything for resale or for our collection. Not that I would ever mind you. There it is. Look at that a cute little buggy with the advertisement on it. All right, let's get inside, guys. Here we go. Alrighty, guys, and walking in, how is this for a welcome? This gorgeous Epern. Now, I will say this I've never actually seen them with the hanging baskets. This, of course, is in what appears to be a Vaseline glass. I will say what is showing on the right appears to be the original. Uh, the one on the left, though similar, I don't think is original. There was a substantial break um, to the one on the right, again, what appeared to be original, but that's okay. It's a thing of beauty, and, and, and I'm definitely pleased to see that when I walked in. Now, I do want to say, as we are going in here, um, of course, we're going to find some Viking and a little bit of Fenton, some yellow depression, some pink, some green. Uh, do keep in mind... Um, and I am going to put down in the description box down below, you are able, that's right, to call and have things delivered. Of course, shipping is going to be additional, but I thought that was absolutely amazing. And the owner definitely wanted me to let you know about that. So again, down in the description, I'm going to have the name as well as the phone number. She said she's pretty much going to be there all the time. I feel that on a very deep level, folks, always at work. Um, but if you are seeing something in the video and you just can't live without it, guess what? Call, get it delivered. Again, shipping is gonna be additional. Um, so definitely take your time looking here. If you gotta go through the video two, three, four, five times, I mean, I don't mind. <laughs> if you wanna watch the video more than once, go for it. Now, we are entering into a lot of the cases. Um, I am going to say this. You are going to see a significant amount of what would, I think, be termed more mantiques. Um, a lot of signage advertisement pieces, um, very large pieces. Um, again, you are going to see some cases here. We're going to do a walkthrough. Um, so again, it, it's not necessarily my aesthetic or my vibe, and that's totally okay. Um, again, I know that some of you out there may enjoy this. You're going to enjoy it maybe more than I personally do, um, which is exactly why I wanted um, to film it. Now, I did not, and I will tell you right up front, I was not able to find anything in here that really spoke my name or more specifically um, that spoke my name and said, Michael, you can afford me for resale. <laughs> So there is that. But again, a lot of great pieces to see, um, some fun stuff to buy. And I just, I think that it's worth it. You never know. Um, and the fact that somebody might see something out there that is viewing it, um, call the store and they're able to get that home, then I think that this video definitely served its purpose. A huge Coke sign, and I was curious as to how much that, okay, well, $2,600. I wonder how much it would cost to ship something like that. I mean, it's definitely going to have to go like freight, like UPS freight. I mean, I guess it would just depend on where you lived. Or if you're close enough, I bet you could call and have this stuff held and buy it. Now, these are actually really cute. They're little like clown reamers as well as little teapots here. I thought those were super cute. Um, and yes, there was in fact a sale on them, but unfortunately not where I needed it to be. Here we are seeing some very early Weller pottery. Um, I think these are absolutely beautiful. And if you don't know, um, I had a recent live sale and um, I did, let's say I did extraordinarily well. Uh, with the Weller Pottery. Those were very small ones, um, but again, just not at the price where I need it to be. So again, we are seeing a lot of advertisement pieces here. Again, I can appreciate and respect the aesthetic value. It's just not something that really personally excites me or speaks to my personal aesthetics. Now, I will say that this room was so fun to go through and view. I loved all of the artwork, the prints, the photography. It just had a very old old um, mercantile feel to it. Uh, so I did want to capture that on film. 
Again, like I said earlier, it is very much like a kind of a mantique kind of store, if you will. Um, and you know what? That's okay. Uh, not my thing, but you just never know. I mean, hey, there is some kitsch, like some nuns playing baseball, because why not? I've actually found another set of those earlier um, in a different video. I think in, where was I? Wilkes-Barre, as a matter of fact. Again, a lot of equestrian prints here. There were some wall mounts that I did elect not to capture on film. Um, not that I haven't before, but... I know some people are like, ooh. And here we are in one of these side rooms. It's kind of facing out front. Um, again, a lot of gasoline stuff. So, well, that's going to be it for today. We're going to wrap it outside, up outside, and we're going to move on to the next place, guys. See you there. Okay, guys, we are at our next destination. It is Pine Hills Antique Mall, again, in Adamstown, Pennsylvania. This is one of the first places that I ever filmed um, for YouTube. And I think I parked in the same spot as a matter of fact. So I'm excited to get back in here. It's been nearly a year. Um, what an incredible journey. So, uh, yeah, let's get inside and see if we can't find anything. Let's do it. Alrighty guys. And here we are immediately on the interior. This is flanking us on the left as you would enter. Um, this vendor had quite the jewelry collection. No, I lied. That was on the right. Oh, well it appears cause I was like, wait, there's jewelry on the left. Well, guess what? Memory did not serve me correctly. Um, it is on both sides and the vendor had everything beautifully organized. I mean, look, there's birds, there's butterflies, I mean, I really appreciate and respect that. Um, it just made shopping that much easier. Now, I have been here before, and this is a newer construction building, though it is done very much as if it is a barn. Um, and as I did before, I do want to show you off the roof. It smells like timber. Like it just, it has a great smell to it. I know that's a random thing, but it does. It smells really good in here. <laughs> Um, now this vendor was a little bougie. I'm not mad at you though. Look at the display. I think they were getting ready for St. Patty's Day, all of this beautiful green glass. Um, and I will say that if memory is serving me correct, which I do think this time it is, um, that the vendor before had a beautiful display of clear, um, and I think specifically Lennox pieces mixed together. Um, so they have consistently continued to put together, pull together monochromatic looks. And I think that they've done it beautifully. Beautifully. Now here we are looking at some cases. These, uh, you know, there was a lot of, there was Roseville, there were these beautiful Jack and Pulpits. Of course, we were seeing um, some Vaseline glass there. The prices, again, just simply were not where I would need them to be as a reseller. Um, oh, I love that one there, that blue and clear. Oh, how painful. I enjoy this one here in the back, and I'm unsure as to the manufacturer. I do apologize about that, but I think it had an absolutely beautiful effect to it. Again, we are seeing more uh, opalescence in Vaseline glass. Um, again, you, you guys know I do favor the clear opalescence followed then. I think Ellie Smith does an absolutely beautiful uh, job with one of the aqua or colonial blue um, opalescent glasses. That is my second favorite, I'm going to have to say. Okay, and up next, I am seeing a set of mercury glass candles here. It does appear that they are $20. Now, I am having a hard time showing you guys. It does seem that the one um, has some pretty substantial damage there on the bottom, so I do decide to leave them behind. Now, this guy here was an art glass shell, and boy, was it a big one. It was priced at only $110. Um, I think that's kind of fair, especially given the size. Unfortunately, I was a little hesitant about shipping it. Um, and of course, over here to the right, we are seeing some Italian or uh, Empoli-style brandy snifter. Now, you guys know I love finding the chenille, and this was interesting. Two twin bedspreads, a pair of curtains, and a rug for $150. And look at the motif on this. Over here were the rugs. Now, it is kind of like a bath mat, if you will. It's a very simple design. Um, the curtains do match it. And then I unfold the blanket and how... <laughs> 
<laughs> How adorable is this? You guys, I wanted to kind of really get this, but being that they were twins and they were very specific to a theme, um, sadly, I did leave them behind. Down here, I'm seeing kind of where you would put those onto the curtain rod. But I still want to unfold that and share that with you guys because I thought it was really cool and unique. Now, down here below, I'm going to say this wrong, Kion, Chiron um, is the manufacturer to this Siamese lamp. It is quite valuable. Um, they have it priced at 81, I believe, or is that? No, it's 130, uh, which is pretty spot on. <laughs> I actually own that lamp, um, so I just thought it was really cool. I kind of wanted to see if I would be able to pick it up for resale, but that wasn't happening today. No, it wasn't. Um, here we are seeing a great mid-century lamp. I love the multi-glaze on this. Isn't that stunning? It's beautiful. Um, that actually I would have picked up at the price. Unfortunately, I didn't want to ship it. Now, I do love a vendor with a good sense of humor. Again, we we're talking about the 80s coming back. And uh, Pink Dolphin Nightmare. <laughs> They were like, get it out of here. I'm going to put it on for $25. Somebody take this. Um, I thought that was very clever. But I did not get it because I wasn't going to ship it. Sorry that nightmare is staying with you. Um, now here we're seeing the little left in Bluebird. It's priced at $325. Um, some beautiful opalescent glass. Um, you see the little mini vases there priced at $38. Um, salt and pepper shakers, they were about $30 each. Little pixies, $28 each. Um, you know, and again, I'm not going to another little, I don't think those were left ins. Um, she's interesting. Um, I don't know how I feel about her. Um, you know, I, uh, I'm i not going to complain about the prices. Um, I really did struggle to find anything um, that would be, you know, quote unquote, a deal. If you were, everything was very at retail. Um, there was some stuff that, quite frankly, I, and I didn't put it on camera because I wasn't going to do that. Um, but I felt there was a lot of stuff that was above retail and it is what it is i think you know it's a free market if somebody wants to buy it they'll buy it if they don't want to buy it out that myself included then you don't buy it um it made it difficult i will say for filming a video i always try to be very uplifting and very positive um it is not any kind of a negative or, or bad thing um it, it, it just is what it is. Um, but again, I don't really want to show you that stuff because I don't want to give you guys a false impression um, of value of items. Um, no, that did not say that. Did this? This is a Royal Sealy. Wait a minute. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. I thought it was $185 for that entire set of Royal Sealy. No, it was $185 just for the butter dish. So I didn't get that either. <laughs> Um, here we are seeing some beautiful Monax glass. There was quite a bit of it here. I've actually never seen this much Monax glass grouped together. So that was exciting to see. I always love seeing it. I think it is absolutely beautiful. I think that it is the most, I'm going to say it. Yes, I am. It is the most elegant of all of the depression glass. I said it. Um, and again, we are seeing some Roseville, as I've said before. I am starting to have more of an appreciation uh, for the Roseville pottery. I have a tendency to like the more natural um, colors like the blues and the whites uh, it's not really my thing or the pinks no not so much um, and I love this one it was very like Greek revival to it Ooh, I love that see now that one I like it's very masculine but it's definitely Grecian doesn't it read Grecian to you Price at $42, which you know what? I'm not going to say is a bad deal. Now, this is interesting. This is actually from a manufacturer called Sigma. Um, $48 is very fair for this piece. It is, of course, a covered dish or a powder dish. They're very easy to identify because they have a very large, very detailed uh, signature here. This one did happen to have a sticker, even the better. Um, but Sigma, the Piro, it's just very collectible for some reason. Now here, ta-da, we found something. Yes, we did. We found some Viking glass. Now, at first, I thought the yellow one here had a chip on it. Um, and I was like, darn it, because I really wanted to get both. These are priced at $25. Here we are seeing the pink, which I was very excited about. The glass itself, the swung part, 
it is not clear and that's a little scuff mark on it so that did come off um but they are have it is the lightest shade of pink and the lightest shade of yellow um and then I'm kind of like, is it chipped though? Is it chipped? And then I took my fingernail and I might have used a little bit of spit. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, and tried to get it off. And it did, in fact, come off. So I did decide to go ahead and pick those up. And I was very excited because I was about to walk out of here empty handed too. And I was like, wow, this is such a thrilling video today. <laughs> Oh, boy. Um, and then we have these beautiful beaded bronze peacock lamps. It was only $1,200 for one. They did have a set. Here we were seeing some more Roseville with the Jardinier here, um, which I'm confused by because the definition of Jardinier actually is the stand. But I guess people have adopted the pot to call it a Jardinier too. So we're just going to go ahead and do it. And here we are seeing an Stunning example of some Weller pottery. I love the twist on this. This super, it's only $1,300. Um, the beautiful twist. Look at this. It's gorgeous. Is it not beautiful? Uh, I don't know. I mean, as well as I did with the pots, I might have, should have picked it up at $1,300. I know some of you are bulking. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just kidding because there's no way I was going to ship that base. Alrighty, guys, and the last thing we are going to see is this Cambridge glass dog. He is from the 1920s. He was priced at retail, so I did have to leave him behind, too. But, uh, yeah, we're going to wrap it up in the car, guys. All right, well, there we have it. <laughs> Viking glass for the win. I'm glad I found those because I was like, oh, boy. Um, you know, hey, you know, we got priced out today. Bottom line, we did. Um, a lot of things were at retail, a little above. I'm not mad at it. You can't hate on it. Everybody got bills to pay at the end of the day. Um, unfortunately, so far as reselling, um, you know, I always want to try to get below retail and as far below retail as we can possibly get. And it is what it is. But I'm really excited about those two Viking um, glass vases. I've only ever seen them clear. So I'm glad to know that they come in, in uh, colors. The lady that checked me out actually said there is a blue one too. So I want to keep my eye out for that. Well, guys, I know we didn't buy a lot in today's video, but that's all right. We still had a good time. We went out. We got out. We had fun. We looked at some nice stuff. I guess that's all that matters at the end of the day. So on that note, I will say until next time, you guys, remember, keep it rusty, crusty, and dusty. Bye, guys.